Okay, we've got a game here. Um, I'm playing black. It's against a guy who's about 13 and a quarter rating from Spain. And it's kind of a uh, wild game. So, e pawn, king pawn opening, Sicilian defense, a couple of book moves to try to solidify the center. I fee in shadow to get the bishop over there in the, in the diagonal and move the move the uh, queen out to try to set up putting the rook here. And most interesting move thus far is the queen behind the bishop, usually with the idea of attacking the bishop or maybe trying to boot the king, the queen, excuse me, my queen on these diagonals. Um, it goes for the queen, I block with the pawn, moves the rook over to centralize, castles, castles, fianchetto on the other side to control another diagonal, and interesting move, pawn push. It looks, it looks like here um, that black is at a disadvantage because the knight is uh, threatened. But um, a simple move like this, two attack, two defended, although it might move the pawn out of the way. I'm not too concerned here because the bishop hangs, and this is a pretty good diagonal, and the bishop is, uh, is hanging. Bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes. Here, ignoring the fact that the bishop is free, so I don't ignore it. Um, takes again to build on the pawn taking in the check, takes back, brings in the queen. Here I decide, let's kick the queen out, goes over here and attacks this pawn. Even though I see this pawn hanging, I think it's better to just double up the, the rooks and begin something on this side, because I am already still ahead some material. Takes the pawn, takes a pawn, knowing that I can take back, takes and takes back. And now the game enters its sort of second phase where black is lined up on the king side and white is trying to line up and get one of these pawns to home. Takes the pawn, move, moving up, again trying to solidify this attack here. This move, I think, was a mistake for white because, again, it's weakening the center in front of the king. And eventually, with these two rooks on this uh, knight, maybe we can make some something happen. So I push this up because, again, I'm, I'm trying to force the action in front of the king. Tries to kick me out. I just slide aside as close as I can. Again, pushing the pawn with the agenda of um, getting that pawn home. Push again. Takes, takes. And what do we have here is another run for the queen side. Because that's really um, my opponent's best shot. Tack here. A little bit of a distractor. Comes back. Now that's a decent move, but... The P, if you're just attacking the bishop, but it ignores this piece. So I temporarily say to myself, if I can get another pawn out from behind by the king, let's do it. So we take and takes back. So here I go right for the bishop, right for the knight, because he can't take back. It's a free piece. Okay, takes what he can. Now I'm doubling up on here. So it's check. And also protects against this. Move out of the way. And what do we have as a pawn move? So now it's essentially a race. Can he promote his pawn and cause me the, uh, the damage from that promotion before I can checkmate him? That's the question. I purposely put this here um, because... If he takes, I'm going to try to do something down here. 
Doesn't take, wants to promote. Again, I'm distracting. I want to get the queen or somebody off this file, maybe steal the pawn. Promotes. And now it affords me the opportunity for a check. And that check is going to be all the home team needs because there's no other move. Can't go out here, can't go out here, can only go here. So goes into the corner where he belongs, and that's going to be all she wrote, folks. Another, another Hodge City production.